hi guys welcome back for another video thanks for joining me and if you're new here thanks for stopping by I hope you stay a while in today's video I will be attempting to do the opal style nail so if you're curious about how I achieve this look then keep watching I guess I forgot to mention in the beginning that I will be doing the lazy girl method with this. I watched a few videos where um, they did, they built the nail up on forms and I did pull some forms out, but I don't know. I just don't feel like doing that right now. And you see, I kind of, my little tester hand here. So I kind of um, figured out some things to do differently. So we're going to give it take two. So, whether or not I use all of this stuff, we don't know yet, but I just pulled it out to have it. So I have Glitter Bell's Pink Jelly. And then I have Carpe Diem from Glam and & Glitz, and that is a glow acrylic. It's kind of like a soft kind of green. And then I have two pearl pigments here. I've got a slightly more violet kind of color and then I've got more of a purple and those are just the Pearl X pigment from Hobby Lobby and then I also pulled some of these iridescent nail powders you see I've got this one here shifts kind of a yellowy kind of color I was kind of trying to look for that Aurora kind of tones and then we have this one here, shifts kind of blue-green. And then we have a kind of faint, kind of reddish, orangish, pink sort of color. And then for my glitter, I got, I recently got this one from AliExpress, but see there? And that yellow tends to look really nice under really soft jelly colors. Kind of get that blue reflect there. And then I've got some of these little um, flakes that I got from Walmart out of the craft section. And then these ones I want to say are from Glitter Planet UK. And then maybe Glitter Planet as well, this um, holographic fine glitter. But if those aren't specifically from there, then Glitter Planet is still a great place to go to find very unique mixes. And then as my clear, I will be using um, Nail Supply Glamour's Crystal Clear, mostly because the jar is smaller and I've got a lot of stuff on this table right now. Oh yeah. And then the Milky White. You also need like a milky or a soft white. I need, I'll need to use this really wet because you don't want any of the colors to be too opaque, but yeah. So I will get all of this set up and we will be back to start. Right. So I did a little bit of experimenting and got something on the pinky nail. So I will kind of show you what I did here. So I'm just taking some of the milky white and doing very thin, just trying to get it spread out, looking kind of more cloudy. And then I take some of my, whoops, some of this kind of blue reflect and kind of get some of that mixed in there. And then I'm going to take some of this kind of orangey color. Kind of mix that in. Kind of want that to be up front a little bit. I really like the way that looks. Okay. Then I'm going to take some of the green. And I am working with really wet layers here. Because you kind of want these to look 
a bit soft in color. Then I'm going to take some of my pink jelly here. And I did watch a few videos, but I didn't, you know, take notes or anything, but maybe on like 3x speed watched a few videos through a few really short videos of a few girls that demonstrated how they did these. So I'm more or less, you know, kind of thinking of those, but winging it really. I mean, have it in your mind what you want it to look like so you really just keep layering stuff together always with the uh, presence of mind to understand that you're seeing it this way and I think that was something I wanted to change from this hand because these very definitely came out a little bit more opaque and that's because I actually used an acrylic powder that's giving you the iridescent vibes there like I used the nail powder but I also use it acrylic so yeah these came out cute still but not quite what I was going for and the glitter I love the um, effect that it gave but again wasn't necessarily what I was going for so I had it in my mind that I needed to do the layers a lot um, thinner and there needed to be more overlap between the different things because on these they kind of don't mix a whole lot. I'm using the milky white as my kind of adhesion layer and also because the milky white gives it gives the colors a background and they also make all of the nails you know match on the back okay and then we kind of very carefully take it off the stand and my nails are already prepped and primed so set it down and very softly press we just want to make sure that the it's even and that the it's not sitting up too high and then we just take a little brush and clean up the side walls here but I don't usually go in too hard right here because I don't want to mess up the placement because I'm going to go in and file anyway the same way you do when you do your um, lazy girl like poly gel or whatever it's the same thing we're just doing it with acrylic and I do have a video up of me doing the lazy girl acrylic method and I gotta say it's just such an easy way to get perfectly uniform nails but you still get to experiment with different medium so I'm gonna go ahead and do these because by now I'm doing the same thing and we will be back for the filing.
what they are looking like. You can see we had some superfluous acrylic usage here, which is why it spills out like that, but you know, it's like the poly gel. You kind of have to know how much product to add. But anyway, I'm going in with my little Jimmy rigged e-nail file, the little metal part I actually got off of Amazon. And then these are just the replaceable files. These are 100 grit, if you can still see that. But I'm going to use this to um, straighten up the sidewalls and then clean up the cuticle where I can. And then I'm gonna go in with this um, McCart file you know, sometimes these files are a hit and miss, like the grit on this is really soft, so I actually use it to buff the surface of the nail. And then to actually buff to a shine to get the scratches out, I use this Enel Couture buffer. So, and we'll get to it. And if I need to, then I will use my electric file, different bit, but um, to clean the edges if I can't quite get to them with the file. So, here we go. filing this is what we got definitely ate my cuticles up that cleanse was definitely not fun but it'll be all right after a little bit of cuticle oil I actually really love the way these look and I don't know I'm kind of debating on if I actually want to do these matte or not I don't know but I picked out some of these kind of cranberry looking Swarovski stones back Sometime last year when I first started buying them, I was getting them from Hobby Lobby and all of that. And I had them in a different kind of storage setup. But when I changed over, they all kind of got mixed together. So I've just been, you know, sometimes I'll just, if I feel like um, rummaging through all the different sizes and colors to find something, then I will. But these in particular were some that I kind of... They were a little bit bright usually for anything that I was doing, so I didn't really use them that often, but I thought the color went very pretty with this. So I got just one small one for the pinky and then larger one for the middle and then the same size that's on the pinky and then I'll do three for the thumb. And then the other two fingers I will do the stones at the tip of the nail and I just kind of like that look lately putting them um, at the tip just kind of adds a different look do I want to do them at the tip I don't know I changed my mind <laughs> happens sometimes we're gonna do them like this Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do them all at the cuticle. Change my mind. Well, these ones, yeah, I'm going to do them at the tip because I actually like that blue reflect at the bottom. So, yeah, we're going to do them this way. Just a little something different. All right, and our activator, make sure. Oh, all right. And there we go. I don't know, I kind of really want to do these matte. I think they will look so hot. All right, let me make some decisions and I'll be back to show you what I end up with. And the finished result? As you can see, decisions were made and the decision was matte. I just think it shows off the detail in the nails a lot better, so that's what we went with. And as you can see, just a little bit of that glow powder came through, but still a really pretty effect. I absolutely love these. I think they turned out a lot better than the first attempt, but still they don't quite look like what um, the videos I was watching, but with more practice, they will get better. 
If you guys enjoyed this video and you like this look, then go ahead, go ahead and give me a like and a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed and tell your friends to come check it out because we're doing things over here. Thank you so much for joining me today and until next time, bye and enjoy a lot of extra footage of these because I took a lot. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye. Thank you.